rest stop is. When you come back down towards Heathcote, the 88s will be making a left turn ashore. So I'm here in Blue Mountain for the um, Scarecrow Gravel Race, part of the Sea Otter Series. And uh, I think I'm excited more than nervous, but it's interesting. I always feel very out of place with things like this. Not that anyone's looking and judging, but uh, everyone else seems so dialed into what they're doing. Um, I guess I'm just dialed into having fun today, as I'm sure everyone else is as well. So the Scarecrow Gravel Race came in three different distances. There was a 48, a 68 and an 88 kilometer event. And the actual race itself was determined by the cumulative times over uh, different timed segments and in the 68 kilometer there were four time segments and I quite like the idea of this uh, format I've seen it a few times on YouTube and what normally happens is that people ride around fairly sociably and then when they hit a time segment they really push on hard but for me it was clear that if I wasn't to go too far off the back of this race I was going to have to push hard almost the whole way and I wouldn't be able to put any extra effort into any time segments at all. Before we go too much further, a quick mention of the bike that I used, which was the Giant Defy Advance 2. Now, it's not a gravel bike, it's actually an endurance road bike, but the flexibility in the seat post and the handlebars certainly make it very, very good over rough gravel, very much like this. For the first few kilometers I was going fairly steady but not really quite as steady as I had hoped to be going and yet people were still passing me and pulling away from me and it was very much looking like I'd be riding in isolation very close to the back of the race but I didn't really want to push on too hard just to keep up with them and sort of burn all my matches in one go right near the start so I just hung in there and hoped that eventually a group would come back to me. And what do you know, on this occasion my patience actually paid off and a, a group did come back to me, a group of about three or four riders and two of them I actually stayed with them for the next uh, 10 or 15 kilometers. Morning. Good morning. Day for a ride. Oh yeah. Not too hot. Not at the minute. I have my fingers crossed. Yeah. This is perfect temperature. On the race profile it shows two more significant hill sections and this was the start of the first one and so far it wasn't actually proven too bad but it was really the second one that I was much more concerned about. The reward for the climb was this absolutely stunning downhill and I was just loving the fact that because I'm heavier I didn't have to pedal at all. And then this guy makes me look like I'm standing still. Yeah.
because riding on this part of the course was just a little bit more comfortable it gave you the chance to look around and man the scenery was just amazing This, this entire area was like a, a kind of a gigantic bowl that you're in the bottom of and you can see in the distance there like the lip of the bowl but the problem with being in the bottom of a bowl is that at some point you've got to climb out and I really was kind of dreading that second huge climb. At this point, I'm about a kilometre from the top of the uh, the second big climb. The first half was absolutely brutal. It was a series of, of really short, sharp gravel rises that knocked the wind out of me. But now on the paved surface, it's about 5% grade, and I, I feel much more in control. And I, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a little bit extra to give here. Water in that one, please. Yeah, no thank you. you yeah, thank you. Thanks. Oh, it's okay. Thanks. This one yeah. Now I can get to look at some of the scenery. My head was down for the last <laughs> 10 kilometers. So I'm at 32.6, um, I believe, although there's a little climb ahead, it's uh, very little, and I believe that we've done most of the big serious climbing, I hope so anyway. Um, that last bit there, it was a bit longer than I thought, although the last two kilometers were on road, so I was just able to go up steadily keep my heart rate below 130 beats a minute it was about 126 for most of it so just going to get over this little rise and then i'm anticipating some crazy awesome views of uh, the bay at some point i can see the bay just in the distance there Oh man, this is beautiful view and a nice downhill at last. And then, as if by magic, one of the people I'd been riding with about 10 kilometers before showed up in front of me. And uh, yeah, it was really nice to have company again. So, so I'm not exactly sure where my position is in the race, but I think I'm pretty near the back of the, the bunch. And as you saw, in some of the 88 kilometer competitors went past me as well but to be honest it doesn't matter to me one bit the only thing that uh, well one of the hello one of the only things I can't control is the ability of other people and most other people are better than me what I can control is my effort and I have
to say that it has by a long way exceeded my expectations. With about 10 kilometers to go, I'd say I was probably feeling stronger than I had done the whole ride, but I didn't realize there was, uh, there was a bit of a sting in the tail of this one. Thank you. How far? Uh, that far. Uh. <laughs> okay. I really wasn't expecting this hill and the crazy thing is I'd, I'd just ridden down it about two hours earlier so I should have known and then I looked at my Garmin and it's gone into red on the gradient so I knew it was a serious hill. The one thing I really wish I had better control of is my, my breathing. One slight incline or, or a little bit of extra exertion and I'm breathing heavily. But the good thing is, is that I recover really quite quickly and my, my uh, heart rate comes down really quickly as well. And so after that final hill, um, I was moving along at a pretty good pace again. I really was feeling pretty elated and, and very proud of my achievement and I was looking forward to, to crossing that finish line and having that internal feeling of, of uh, satisfaction. And so I, I was really quite disappointed when I rode up the road and this is what I came across. Where's the finish? I know, it's, I think it's here. Oh. <laughs> Did you see? Okay. The rather anticlimactic finish didn't really detract too much from what was an absolutely epic ride for me in just stunning countryside and this really will be a day that I'm going to remember for a, for a long long time. I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. If you have, please remember to hit the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. And I shall see you on the next ride.